in this demo, we're going to use Terraform 13 on HashiCorp Terraform Cloud to deploy Azure Cloud Adoption Framework Landing Zone. So we are now on GitHub where we have our different sample landing zone. And first one is CAF Foundation. That's going to set the foundation for my uh, subscription. And I'm also going to use Hub and Spoke to apply a classic Hub and Spoke topology where we have an environment using Azure Firewall, Key Vault, etc., etc. So I'm going to fork this into my Azure DevOps environment. And you can see this is the same exact landing zone I'm going to have. And I'm going to clone that locally in order to be able to edit my environment. So I'm now in Visual Studio Code. And when you are in Visual Studio Code, you can see the different landing zones here. And if we take the example of CAF Foundation, we have our configuration uh, principles and our settings here with this environment. Now we're going to look into a little bit more details on the main config file and you can see that by default we come with the configuration using uh, Azure Storage as a backend but we are going to change that now to use Terraform Cloud as a backend. So you see now I'm using appterraform.io and I'm going to use the workspace test landing zone CAF foundations. So I already done the login and now let's just go to Terraform Cloud in order to configure that. So you can see that here I have my different workspace and I'm going to add a new workspace to specify this configuration. So I'm going to go and select my Azure DevOps environment, but I can use any type of uh, source code environment. I'm going to use Azure Terraform, the repo I um, just showed you, and I'm going to use TFC. Uh, here for this particular environment, I'm going to specify advanced option. And for that, I'm going to specify the working directory for the landing zone CAF foundation. And I'm going to specify a specific branch I have, which is TF13. And I'm going to create the workspace. Now, once it's done, I can start and review the configuration. I've configured my variables here. Uh, to connect to the Azure subscription and I'm going to select that I'm going to run Terraform 13 inside this an execution environment. I'm saving the settings and I'm able to queue my first environment. So now you see that I'm going to deploy foundations. And of course, I'm going to accelerate some of the sections. You see that the plan uh, is being uh, triggered and is running now. You can see the different sections that we're having and you can see that you need to confirm in order to apply the configuration. So looks good to me. We're going to confirm the plan. So actually the configuration is going to be applied. Uh, if we fast forward a little bit, you can see that all the components are being deployed uh, in here as we speak. And here we go. We can configure now the other uh, landing zone, which is the Hub and Spoke since this one has finished. So how do we do that? Same thing. I'm going to go into uh, my main and here you see that I have configured my test landing zone Hub and Spoke to store my backend. But in Cloud Adoption Framework landing zone, we do service composition. So I'm going to read my test landing zone CAF foundations from one level down into another workspace. And I don't even have to change anything in my code for that to happen. Here I have added my uh, Hub and Spoke configuration and same thing. I'm going to just queue a plan for it. And you see that it's going to take a couple of minutes to uh, verify the plan, seeing that I have 44 resources to add. And then I can just do the apply on this environment, confirm that I want to uh, apply all of those settings. And of course, I'm going to fast forward that because it's taking a couple of minutes. And you can see that I can customize and do my composition by using, uh, for instance, here, CAF Foundation. So as, I, as soon as I detect a change inside uh, CAF Foundation, then I will trigger a plan also for this Hub and Spoke environment. So if you do that, you see that foundations applied. I'm applying Hub and Spoke right now. So let's try to do a change. And I'm going to go into CAF Foundation and I'm going to do a very little change. I'm going to change, for instance, here, uh, the tags that I'm going to use in my environment. So I'm going to do Terraform TFC. Then I'm going to commit this uh, change into my uh, Git repository inside Azure DevOps. And you see that after a couple of seconds, it's going to detect there's a change. So that's what you see the planning, cost estimation, and needs confirmation. So if you do that, you see automatically the update tag, the name I used in my commit is uh, triggered here. And you see that I have this OK uh, update tag. So now I confirm the plan and the apply is going to be queued in my environment. 
So once I've done that, you can see that I'm applying the change in car foundation and automatically after it has finished, I will be triggering a plan also inside the hub and spoke environment. So this is what we're seeing here. And we see that the planning operation has started. I can review the changes and if I'm okay uh, with those, you can see it is just tags. I can just say, okay, update tags. I confirm the plan, then it's gonna trigger the run of the configuration. I can go to my uh, Azure subscription and I can see that I have my public IP, I have my Azure Firewall, and you can see that without changing much in my code, I'm able to apply my landing zones for Microsoft Azure using uh, Terraform Cloud and using Terraform 013.